המחשב שלי, ו... If you have. אוקיי. Okay. I, I have a question, if I may. אוקיי. Okay. Who is talking? רווה. אה? רווה בן סימון. כן, כן. אוקיי, אז השאלה היא לגבי השאלה 29 בפייל. אוקיי, אז בדרך כלל, אתה יכול להגיד לי? כן, כן. השאלה היא, מה זה אומר? It's uh, about augmented Lagrangian method for inequality constraints. Show that when the multipliers are optimal. Okay, exact... good. Thank you very much. It's exactly the, the question I wanted to start with. Je uh, just a second. Wait, wait me a second. I, I will be a few long. Okay, the, the question uh, is, you, you, you were the one who sent me email? Yes, uh, yes. I okay, very good, very good. Well. Thank you very much. I, I, I will try now. I was thinking about your question and thank you very much. I get really uh, good questions from my students and this uh, advances me. Uh, so, we have... Uh, Just a second. Uh, augmented Lagrangian. We say F. Uh, uh, in the lecture, is U multiplies where U or, la or lambda in augmented uh, Lagrangian? I'm not sure. For, I think lambda. Yeah, lambda. Think lambda. We use lambda, lambda. usually. Yeah. OK. So I, I have U, F, P, lambda uh, of X. It's. Uh, So I, uh, first of all, I have a problem minimum f of x subject to gi of x uh, less equal zero. Okay, let me, move. Let me move a little bit. Okay, turn camera. Uh, give me one second. I need to manage my screen to make it looks okay. Reduce, uh, I reduced uh, reflections from the, from the screen. Okay. You don't, you don't have a reflection, it's okay. Now you don't, because I removed from some bright windows from my screen. Okay, so, uh, so it's uh, objective function, f of x uh, plus sum phi, P lambda i, me g i of x. Okay? Yes. Yes. And we say that when uh, lambda is uh, lambda uh, optimal for the problem, uh, lambda optimal mean uh, uh, gradient of Lagrangian of my problem, L, X optimal, lambda optimal. Because, sorry. <coughs> lambda optimal, uh, gradient with respect to X, yes? Of Lagrangian should be zero. And uh, when lambda is, Lambda optimal, what uh, you can show that gradient with respect to x, f, p, lambda optimal. Of x optimal lambda, ah, uh, lambda, lambda is here now, yes? You don't need this. It's not it's optimal, it's uh, Just the second. lambda optimal. Just a second. I know, I know. I know what you are talking about. I want to bring right claim and then say excuse about not very accurate claim. Okay, and we will uh, repair the question. The, the claim, uh, the gradient of this is zero. Is this, uh, again, uh, remind me your, your name? Rave. Huh? 
Rave. 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 Uh, you found the inaccuracy, but this uh, statement is okay, yes? Um, I'm not sure because I think the X star that you mentioned here is a different one from the one in the... No, no, no. I, 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 I want to say something. Assume that my problem has solution. That this problem has solution, X star is solution. So yes. in X star you achieve minimum of F, subject to constraints are satisfied. Okay? Okay. But X I star, just, uh, ju just a second. Mm -hmm. And lambda star is a lambda which satisfies, and assume that point uh, uh, satisfies KKT, Karosh Kuntaker conditions. Yes. And lambda star is exactly the optimal multipliers which we have in KKT conditions. So, and we know the first condition is this one. Yes? Yes. Gradient with respect to X uh, uh, of Lagrangian should be z zero. Okay. Yes. This is our assumption that we have such a point. And the claim I, I, I make now, it's weaker than it was in the lecture. That if I stay in this point, the gradient of augmented Lagrangian is also zero. Okay, this is a different claim than in the video. I know, I know, I know. And okay. thank you very much again. I just uh, ask you to go with me now. It's new version. So, okay. Because okay. of you. Thank you very much. Uh, so this claim is right, yes? Yes. Okay, so then what we can say? We can say, for example, <coughs> That if we assume, for example, that augmented Lagrangian has unique minimizer, it doesn't have to be, especially in non-convex case, crazy things may happen. Yes. But if we are lucky and augmented Lagrangian has unique mi minimizer, this minimizer will be a solution of the problem. I'm not sure that that's what we need to prove. I'm not sure. It actually works. Just a second, and let's go again stage by stage. What we did in the lecture, we say that if we have such a point, which satisfies the gradient of Lagrangian is zero, then uh, we, we told that for active constraints, the components in, uh, so, okay, you, you want me to show one line more. Okay, let's try to do it. I think, I think the claim uh, was very different. Uh, let me write one line more and it will help us. Uh, should I open one line more or just modify this line? Let's try to modify this line. Right, it's a little bit more compact. Of X Okay, so it's a uh, f of x star, yes? It's a gradient of gradient. Of gradient, star. thank you very much. You're right, of course. Plus uh, sum phi. No, g i enter. P, oh, no. just a second. Phi p lambda i star prime yes 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 of g of g i i, I will, will not open arguments of g j because our record will become very dirty multiplied by gradient of g i of x star okay yes. is it right yes okay and now, and for gradient of Lagrangian, we also will remove this and rewrite it. You can yes. say that the gradient is zero. I wanted to say that your initial claim that no, 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 no. Uh, uh, we, we will finish this line and then discuss, okay? I cannot discuss in the, in the middle. 
what, what I'm doing now, it's not only repair the claim, but enter this logic into your head. And the head of the students who maybe don't, uh, are, are not with us now, but I hope it will help. So we, we have gradient of Lagrangian with respect to X, uh, of X star lambda star. And again, uh, let me do a bit of left. Gradient of Lagrangian of X star lambda star. It's a gradient. I, I want them to correspond, they will understand. F of X star plus sum lambda I star gradient GI of uh, X star. Okay, now it's easy to, to compare. And uh, what we hope that, and, and this is zero, yes? Yes. And we hope to show that if, uh, if we are in the point X star, then, uh, then this and this will be the same. And yes. you can say that the, the gradient of, is of x extra is zero. And just a second. Of I, I only want to claim that Im, Im, if I am staying in this uh, so solution, those two expressions become the same. I even don't say about zero. Just yes. say they, they are the, the same. This is equal to, the, to this, of course. Yes, it's trivial. I think yes. you're missing the summation. And now I, I, I'm saying, if my constraint is active, then it is zero. Uh, this is G, GI, okay? Okay. And I will, uh, will uh, use... Gal is right, you forgot the summation sign in the, in the, in the lower, in the below. In the, the aggregate function. function. Sorry? It, uh, tell it again, I, did, I didn't hear you all. In the last row, you forgot the summation sign. Yes, yes here. thank you very much. No, it's Gal. Ga yes, it yes, 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 of course, of course. Thank you, Gal. Thank you, Gal. It's the same, so sum with respect to I, and here sum with respect to I. Thank you very thank much. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Okay, and I have my penalty function which is a phi p lambda i star. And if I have active constraint, so it's zero. So this derivative, this der derivative actually in, in the origin is equal to this parameter, yes? So for active constraint, those are the same, okay? And again, can you repeat this? Have, yeah, sorry. This? Yes, I'm with can you. Repeat? Can you re repeat just the last sentence? If constraint is active, active, active constraint, active. Okay, let, let me read yeah, right here. Active constraint uh, GI of X star is zero. It's our picture, which is uh, the, the other question, motivate Karish Kuntaker condition, yes? <laughs> you, you, you want to <laughs> yes. do a complete lecture on uh, constraint no, no, optimization. It's okay, no, no, I it's remember. Good. It's good. So I have two active constraints and one non-active, yes? And for active constraints, this is G1, for example, zero and this is g2 zero and for example this is x star and of course we are, we are understand that active constraints by definition they are zero at the solution okay yes yes thank you okay it's it's good because it was not easy in those this was old lecture yes 
it was not as concentrated it, as it is now. Maybe this will help to, to everybody to put everything together. Okay, this is for active constraints. We conclude that this uh, is actually equal to Lagrange uh, multiple, the derivative of any function. And what will happen for non-active constraints? For non-active constraints, uh, I need to remove this or maybe do one more picture. Let's try to do one more picture. Not much room, but I will try. Let me reduce it a little bit. Okay. It's kind of catching. You know, this is optimal position of camera and whiteboard. Under this constraint. Yes, you, you see everything in maximal brightness. So it's optimization problem with constraints. Solution, okay. So for non-active constraints, we have such situation. Again, I have my penalty function, but lambda is zero for non-active constraint. Yes, because it doesn't, this constraint is non-active. Wow, no, I, I didn't satisfy constraints of my whiteboard. Okay, so this constraint is non-active, so its multiplier is zero. So if multiplier is zero, then the slope of my penalty function is zero. So it, it may go something like this, for, for example, yes? And my question, how it goes on the left? My, my requirement when I build the penalty function, I require it to be monotonic, non-decreasing. So it may or increase or be flat. It cannot increase and it, it cannot also decrease. It, it cannot go in this way. Why it cannot go in this way? Because it won't go. Because it's convex. We told that it is uh, convex. So the, the only possibility it may go flat, zero. And my non-active constraint is it is, if it is uh, satisfied, my constraint should be satisfied. So they may be or zero or negative. I don't want to violate it. So my non-active constraint GI is negative. So the slope of my penalty function, if it is zero here, it must be zero also here. <clears throat> so again, phi prime will be zero like, like lambda i. And I get to conclusion that those two expressions are the same in the solution point. But my statement is, was, is now weaker than it was in the lecture. And thank you very much for, for this remark. So now and, this statement doesn't guarantee? So now my statement is such that if I am at the optimal point, the, uh, so it is a uh, uh, minimizer of Lagrangian with respect to, uh, I, I don't say about the Lagrangian. The gradient of augmented Lagrangian is also zero, yes? So those two expressions are equal, and if this is zero, then this must be zero. And this says, and for example, I am in, in convex optimization. So if my uh, augmented Lagrangian is zero, then this is a solution of the problem is a minimizer of augmented Lagrangian. <clears throat> but maybe the, like, it was great remark in the, in the email from, tell me again your name. Rave. Huh? Rave. <laughs> Ruven, okay. Ah, yeah. this, this is your picture, yes? Ruven, yes. I, I don't see you you're talking, but I see your picture. Here you can see, now you can uh, see. Remark you from well. Ruven that there may be situation where there are many minimizers of uh, augmented Lagrangian, then we are not so sure, or maybe we need more uh, elaborated proof or check whether it's fact is, is right. But if, for example, when somebody told us that augmented Lagrangian has unique minimizer, then we know that it is a solution of the problem. So we, we need to add to the question that if 
the minimizer of augmented Lagrangian is unique and multipliers are optimal, then the minim uh, minimization gives us a solution of the problem. And the augmented Lagrangian is convex also. Co uh, convex or uh, because our okay, uh, achieves zero yes, because, uh, yes, because the condition of minimality. You're, you're, you're right. This is claimed for convex optimization. You're right. You're right. Okay, so By the way, it's a bit weaker. Yes. Sometimes for non convex problem, even augmented Lagrangian may be convex. But this, uh, this is very special case. Okay. Okay. So, so essentially, we're not guaranteed that in one iteration of augmented Lagrangian with the uh, optimal multipliers, we will get to the um, minimum. Yes. In, in general, you're, you're right. In general, we are not gu guaranteed. But one can show, for, for example, that uh, if your problem is convex and satisfied, KKT condition, then augmented Lagrangian is strongly convex. But this is a very special story. But and even so under those conditions, it, it only gives again. you a hint that you can look yeah, at the there. And, and this is uh, just you one are a second. Bit laggy. Uh, uh, Michael, can you repeat? You are a bit laggy now. Uh, it's okay, in, uh, everybody. It's your uh, connection, Katya. Okay. So, and the uh, recording will be good, I hope, because it's on, on my, yeah, on yeah. my computer. Okay. So, uh, so the, the claim is uh, weaker if minimizer is unique, then it is uh, the optimal solution of the problem. If minimizer of yes. Lagrangian is unique. No, I still don't understand because in this uh, proof, we assume that we're going to, uh, that our x, star that we get for the minimizing of the aggregate function mm -hmm. is going to be inside the inside the constraints we didn't we didn't acknowledge the the fact that it could land outside the constraints and then none of these none of these claims is that must be in the constraints area because the, it's an optimal solution under the constraints so x star is no. an optimal solution so th this is solution x star solves the problem. It minimizes f of x subject to constraints. So x star is the solution of the original of the original problem, not the solution yes. unconstrained optimization for the uh, Lagrange. And, and we say the augmented and, Lagrange. Uh, and we say if I substitute x star in my augmented Lagrangian, I get and, lamb and take lambda star as multipliers, I get gradient zero. So I know that it is minimizer. Then I say, if somebody told me that minimizer is unique, then I know that this is the only minimizer and it is a solution. I know that x star is minimizer, if everything is convex, of course. Even if, if the minimizer is unique for the augmented Lagrangian function? Yes, yes, yes. You're right. Okay. And uh, you can help me if there will be final uh, formulation of the questions. We will together. And I, I, I won't even, you, you, you can do, you know, it's very important. You, you can do snapshot. And I even do uh, my uh, picture of the whiteboard because it's very informative now. Give me one second. <coughs> Good with scam scanner. Is scam scanner the good, the, the best way to scan images, or you use something else? No, no. A snipping tool. And even with respect to mm -hmm. file size, <laughs> file size, it, uh, you can compress it as JPEG because scam uh, scan produces JPEG or PDF, uh, which is rather rather compact this file for for, for example is uh, like much much less than giga it's like 20 kilo or 30 uh, 200 kilo or something like this yeah because there is a license of the technion to use microsoft products and 
one of the products is OneDrive. It has built-in application for scanning documents. And, and it, uh, the, the files are also compact? No, no, no. Ah, no. this is, and this is very, very important even for, for the exam, yes? You want the file to be sent fast. And uh, okay, but everybody choose what, what he yeah, likes. You can compress always, you can compress the data like JPEG or something if you take I, I, I don't do nothing in CAM scanner. I just push button and he cares about. Okay, doesn't matter. I should not uh, make any no. advertisements here. What, okay. what do you prefer, Michal, what do you prefer, a better resolution or smaller size? I, I don't choose no thing. I just push button and it gives me what, okay. what, what is good for, for me. Okay. okay. Uh, Michal. I discovered that I need to clean, uh, to clean my uh, camera from time to time. In old smartphone, it was no such a problem. And here I should do it. Michal, again, yeah. so the, the claim is that uh, if the augmented Lagrangian is convex and has a unique minimizer, then we we'll reach the minimum after one unconstrained optimization. Yes, yes. Thank with you the optimal. Yes. Okay. I think you, you formulated well. Okay. Okay. And thank you, Rowan. I Usually I am very grateful to students. Okay, so thank you, Michael. Thank you. Michael, okay. can we? Pleasure. Uh, okay, can we go uh, let's go forward. Any any other question? Can we go over uh, question uh, thirteen? Uh, I saw that there. Uh, uh, j just name it. I don't remember. Uh, thirteen is uh, about the ADMM. Um, ADMM. I I, I, the I knew ADMM. I knew that this will be the second question, and this is about soft thresholding, I guess. Yeah, I saw that there yes. is okay. a confusion. Let's go. Let's go yeah, maybe it's possible to ask something, uh, some very short questions before, because ADMM is a really long question. Okay, only if you are in hurry, because it's long, but it's it's second on my list as well. Uh, okay, try to ask. I, I hope it will not just take wanted us. To just to okay, make I'm sure you. very okay. small points. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, first, uh, when we need to to show this self-duality of the semi-definite uh, cone. Yes. I just wanted to make sure that we can use that any uh, positive semi-definite matrix uh, can be written as U, U transpose. Yes. Uh, can we use it without proof? Okay. And uh, how do we know, it? how do I know it? Because I know there is a le legal procedure with, which is called Cholesky factorization. Yes, and we can just take the diagonal square, square root here and square root here. Uh, in general, I, I give you Cholesky factorization with diagonal term. It's actually have some other name. Basic Cholesky factorization is without diagonal term. So, and we know. We know constructive proof there is a numerical procedure which produces such a factorization. Okay? Okay. And uh, so, so it's okay. if you move to me to so this okay question, to I don't want to jump. So you, uh, Katya moved me to the question of, of uh, self dual. I, I didn't want to, to go into details. So no, just no, I I want. I I I want. No, no. My way is if I enter a question, I want the students to eat it with appetite. <laughs> so, uh, Maybe the students part. understood this question. Okay. But in any case, if, if you started, I, I want to accord. Self, dual con. So, what we want from self, dual con? that it will be dual to itself. Uh, so it, it should have two, pro, uh, two uh, properties. I, if I have si uh, such a cone, yes, uh, everything inside. It, it has one important property which some dual cone will have. If, if I take, and for, for example, here is the, the, the origin. If I have two vectors from uh, X and Y from this cone, 
the inner product is uh, greater or equal to zero. Yes? Yes. 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 Well, why, why do I say that this code. one is not self dual? Because I am able to find uh, another vector z. There exists a vector z that also has inner product greater or equal to zero with all vectors inside the cone. That's why this narrow cone is not self-dual. So you, you already yeah. got very basic, very basic requirement from the proof. To yes. show that cone is self-dual, it's very important. It's very important that you may, may make it. In, in order to show that cone is self-dual, you should show that any two vectors from the cone have inner product uh, larger than one. And if I take vector out of the cone, there is no such a situation that, again, all, ve all vectors with z, with z on x with z, uh, I, I don't want this situation that x with z, again, uh, uh, greater or equal zero, zero yeah. for, for any x. Um, for and that, for I them. don't want this situation. So, yeah, yeah. if I have ju just let let me finish, I will make other other picture with which with cone which is self dual. This cone is self dual. Yes, with opening yes. twenty yes. degrees, and from this cone, I know that if I have a vector z out of the cone. I can always find the vector x, for example, this vector, yes? Yes. Which has more than 90 de de degrees. So x, be x belongs to the cone and x with z. Uh, less than zero. Less than zero. So these two parts of the proof. Michael, exists such x that that is not uh, yeah, yes exists x you 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 are right. exists x such that I, I did it in wrong colors but yeah it should be red yes x, yes. x is red yes. and z is blue exactly it's good to use exists x such you want me really to be nice <laughs> okay thank you okay and you know this picture this is a pictogram of the proof if you can if you want to prove anything about the point being self-dual you should prove this the two vectors from the cone are less than and then there exists a z that the the for any z out of the con, there exists the x. So you, I advise you to make snapshot for, from this as well, and maybe also I will do, because it's very important pictogram for the proof. Okay, I will add it. I will add it. Okay. Good. And now, so I can, uh, I, but Katya, if if you uh, if this question is okay, but please don't ask other questions before we come to ADM. No, I just wanted to formulate it finally. Okay. So you say that in order to show that a con is self-dual, we need to show that for each uh, uh, two vectors inside the con, their inner product is non-negative yes and that for each vector that's not inside this cone there yes. exists a vector inside this cone for which the inner product between them is negative yes thank you very much great great thank you katya and, okay okay and now can i remove this okay
Yes, yes, you can remove it. Okay. It's on record. Both of this, the Katya's answer, all on record. Yes. Okay. And I am recording this, of course. Okay. And now, uh, AGMM. Which color? No, Michael, 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 Michael. No, Michael, no, Michael. don't move me to any other question. Ah, only the questions we. No, no. So, okay, again, good, good. So for this, <laughs> you answered something different. Again, so, so it's okay with you to use without proof that any positive semi definite matrix can be written as U transpose U. You, no, you, you should mention the Cholesky existing existence of Cholesky factorization is a constructive proof of this fact. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and then just mention that you can multiply each uh, left and right ma matrix by the uh, square root of the diagonal to obtain just... No, no. J uh, just a second. I am very sorry about this diagonal term. Uh, Cholesky with di diagonal term has even a little bit different name. The basic Cholesky factorization says that I can uh, factorize a matrix into lower product of lower triangle with its transpose. This uh, upper triangle which is its transpose. This is L, it, this is L transpose. And this can be used without proof. Yes, yes, uh, yes uh, you, you can refer somebody to, to, uh, to study Cholesky factorization. It's constructive proof, yes? Cholesky no, factorization so, so gives you constructive proof because one proves that Cholesky factorization is a stable operation. If, if matrix is positive definite, then this decomposition exists. You, you can build it. Okay. okay. No, uh, but but if 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 yes, when we when we you you, you can reference external part which we didn't learn, but it exists. That this factorization is valid for any positive definite matrix. So we just can write it as it is, and that's it. Uh, Again, uh, regarding I, I, positive definite, it's definite it's you know, uh, you asking good questions. Actually, I, I, no, Michael, it's not clear it, from your answer. No, 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 just, just a second. Let, let me think uh, once, one second. I, I, I don't remember, I don't remember whether you are able to do Cholesky factorization for positive semi definite matrix. Maybe it requires some additional work. But in lecture, I refer it as existing fact, and you can say as existing fact that any symmetric matrix can be represented uh, in this way. Actually, you know, you know, you you can do it even through eigenvalue decomposition. Yes, it's uh, uh, you you can say that a any symmetric matrix has a eigenvalue decomposition. Say I don't know, a, a v lambda v transpose. Yes, because it is. Yes. And if if I take a, root of lambda, if I take root of lambda, root when of lambda. When a is positive semi-definite. And uh, multiply this by this, and this by this, and uh, this I give to, I remove lambda, yes? yes. And this for semi-definite also works, because for semi-definite uh, some uh, eigenvalues will be just zero. Okay. But it's okay to say, uh, to not uh, explain it in the exam. Uh, and you just, it's just say now, what you require. If Katya will write exam, I will expect her to mention this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you explain more, what are you talking about here? Uh, I don't understand what you're talking about. That question is motivated and describe Newton method with Modified Cholesky factorization. It is, this is the question. That no, no, no. It's uh, it's other question. No, it's no, very, no. It's different. No, question. no. Uh, uh, it's it's very general question. I, I would say in, in general, we 
may use it in different part of our course. The fact that uh, any symmetric matrix A may be represented as a product of some matrix U by U transpose. If uh, and, and uh, you 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 can take it, it as given, or if you have time and we'll show this, for example, it will be even nicer. Okay. Those are two things in the uh, Peruk spectrali. We, we assume, yes, we assume that every symmetric matrix has an eigenvalue uh, it's decomposition, yes? With, no, it's a, it's more general fact, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. Every symmetric yeah. matrix yeah. has eigenvalue de 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 decomposition when eigenvectors uh, are orthogonal. And yes. eigenvalues are real, and for yes. positive and for positive semi-definite matrix, this diagonal matrix is non-negative. But it may also have negative entries, then it's very general matrix. But if it is non-negative, I can take square root, yes? Yes. With negative, I, I would have problems. I can take square roots and multiply this square root with V. And get a matrix. This I will call you. And this is will be transposed. So okay. it, it's only possible for PSD. It, the conclusion because no, if no. lambda is negative, for every, no. For uh, for PSD, I can take square root, and it will be real number. And if it's not PSD, lambda, lambda is negative. Uh, then you my, my claim uh, again my claim if matrix a is symmetric positive definite it can be represented as a product of two matrices u by u transpose if and it's if negative it's not, so the square root will be complex and then u will be complex yes and, and if it is not positive semi-definite in general it not it cannot be represented in this form oh okay this form is really positive semi-definite Again, if if in other direction, if somebody gave me this matrix, I can prove that it is positive symmetric. Okay. This one. This when one. the matrix is real. Yes. Okay, so we did some med 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 meditation, and uh, and thank you very much. I don't know any snapshot of this, of this may be very difficult to take. Two questions if we can use it as given. And, and just to ask if we can use this as given. So my next question, can we use it as given? That you, uh, please, you, yeah, the, my, my answer is yes, everybody except of Katya. What? <laughs> Katya now must. Uh, Katya, you can this. use it. You can use because it because she she asked the, the question. She knows more than everybody knows. Okay, you uh, everybody can use it. it. It was in the lecture. No, no, Michal, I wanted to move to other question. It's not. It's no, okay. no, 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 Katya, you put our stack too deep. My brain is now with ADMM. I just wanted very it's small no, without no, no. going let, into let details. Let me. Let me to. Uh, release my, my brain. Uh, it's now only half working because I keep in DMM in my brain. Maybe at the end, maybe at the end we'll go back to it. If there okay. will be. But after ADMM, remember your, your question and we, we will come back to it. The problem is that I need to leave soon. Ah, okay. Okay. This is, the, this is why we big stress. But ADMM it. may be important for you. Actually, Katya, you know, we solved it. But there is a delicate point which we didn't get uh, during Zoom lecture. I think that I saw uh, that I managed to solve it. Oh, okay, if you saw negative, the, what we wrote, we le left it for homework. If you did it, great. Okay, one more question, and uh, we will move. Must to say, it. all the ADMM have a Zoom lecture that you published uh, that has all the uh, in the Zoom lecture. You get all of them, I think. So, I saw in the, the recording. All the parts, I think. You go there only, you need to, to represent how you uh, put the 
to split the function we get to the form of uh, s this s something je, je, just a second what is your question about uh, about which question who asked somebody asked i didn't ask about idm i said it no 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 okay. idm will be next Let, let's wait a little bit katya what, what is your last attempt? i just wanted to ask last about those questions two and then we will move to idm okay. yeah, just can we use it as given that an operator norm of a matrix equals to the square root of the maximal eigenvalue of a transpose uh, a in in exam yes i try to remember we did prove it in uh, our zoom class yes yeah but it's very long i can show you the full proof it's, uh, of this long okay the video is very very long okay uh, my answer is yes you you can use it so i, okay. I, I repeat the 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 question that uh, norm of operator it's called operator norm of the matrix for example yes operator norm of the when we when we have a matrix a and put here two standardly we, we mean operator norm how large it will elongate is the the vector because the, the, there is also Frobenius norm I just remind you here Frobenius norm is sum of squares of elements and square root but this is oper operator norm and we say that if I take square of operator norm this is lambda max of uh, a transpose a you can use this fact the I encourage you to look uh, to our Zoom class where it is shown, but you can use it as, as given. And okay. the last question is exactly similar for, to this, uh, but with the um, gradient of, of the log of the determinant of AX plus B. Yes. So can we use it as uh, the, the log of the barrier function of the semi-definite? I just, just wanted second. to ask. Yeah, I, I, the, there is a question to develop gradient of the log debt, and uh, it was in our previous meeting. Yes, I know. I saw it. I just wanted to, sh to, to ask whether we can use on the exam as given that the, that the um, gradient of the, um, oh, yeah. of the you, trace you of some I, function. I, 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 right. Gradient log that a yeah gradient with uh, respect to a it's uh we told that is a my minus t yes a yes. transpose in, in it. so what is your your question uh, there was a step with the when we said that something is equal to uh, f tag a transpose uh, remember um yeah, yeah, with the trace. yeah yes so you you should also know uh, you should be able to show that log that a a is trace of log a you mean something like this or first of all let, let's see on this so yes, in, this is yes. In, this in, is the, okay. in the middle, you have this formula. Uh, this formula should uh, can be proven because we, we know that trace. Let me remove something here. We know that uh, trace uh, any function of a. A, one can show that it is a trace of f of lambda. I, 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 let me do this de development, it's very short. Uh, I, I take a eigenvalue decomposition of A. 
и цви лямбда и стрейс f v лямбда v индекс yes yes and in the lecture we showed that we can put f on the lambda it, it was part of the lecture so i i can write instead of here uh, trace trace v f of lambda v inverse and of course we can uh, move circularly under trace and the, this will cancel v, v, v inverse and v and we will get that this is trace f of lambda yes and we have and and what is trace of log a but this is Michael, if you did what you did you need to say that the the, the matrix is laxina you can uh, Diagonal yes, diagonal is you 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 you're right. We don't really require symmetric, but we assume that this exists. Yes, this diagonal representation exists. We don't enter to more delicate questions. You you you're right. Okay, so and going along this line, you 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 ah uh, ah uh, and and that a. This is a product of lambda i. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, all this toge together gives you a possibility. It, I, I almost did, did it, I don't want to accomplish. But uh, I think that everything in, in, is on the, on the whiteboard. I think we did it on Tuesday, two, two days, three days ago. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. So my question was only, uh, can we use it as given that the gradient of trace FA is uh, F tag A transpose? Okay. Uh, In the, on the that exam, point, on yes. The exam. At that point, yes. Okay. The, uh, the answer is yes, because otherwise it will be a little bit lo long and it will include other answer because I ask you in other question, to uh, find gradient of uh, matrix power and this. Okay, so Can you write uh, uh, let me summarize. Thank you, Katya. It was too long answer for your short question. So you, you asked the uh, permission to use the fact that uh, gradient with respect to A trace uh, F of A is uh, F prime of A. Yes? Transpose. Uh, somewhere transpose or inside of, or outside? A transpose should be outside the uh, left tag. Maybe but it's the same, Michael, it's the same. It's the, same. Same. It's the uh, same. The question may be transpose and uh, tag uh, interchanges. Okay, let's mm -hmm. put it outside and uh, leave this question open. Yes. Okay, so my question, my, my answer is is yes, you, you can use this formula, which you get in other part of the lecture, because otherwise your answer will be too, too long. It's half a lecture, yes, okay, good. Okay, thank you, so I, I, I finished, uh, go to ADMM. <laughs> okay, okay, good luck, thank you, you. you will see us on uh, recording, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, pleasure. Okay. And I actually wanted Katya to help me with the ADMM, but she's missed. Okay, I will have to do it alone. No, no, we will help you, Michael. Oh, no, just call, call me before she went. Call her to stay with you. Uh, what did what did, did you say, Ron? I, I said that there are still eight students here that are going to use their collective brain to help us with ah, the... Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, I, I, I say a very general thing. Uh, if I have an auxiliary problem, which looks like 
minimize. Uh, I don't remember. I put uh, absolute value as first term in the lecture or second term? Absolute value of x. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. In the second term, I think. Uh, okay. Half x uh, minus u square plus lambda absolute value of x. Uh, yes. And those are or scalar variables. X and u are scalar variables. And okay. uh, I and I say that uh, my x bar uh, or x hat is arg minimum. And I, I ask you how uh, x hat changes with u. Here is u. And here is x hat. It's argmin over who? Argmin, uh, thank you very much, uh, over x. Argmin over x. OK. And. Uh, I, I <coughs> the the way to and and, and I in the, in the in the lecture I even draw those two functions. Uh, maybe I do it with red. I didn't understand the notation. You said uh, just second, just second. I, I will give you a, a picture and we will. Uh, I have two functions of you. Uh, just second. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's, is it X? Wow. No, no, I, I try to put two two pictures on, 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 on the one. First of all, I have function F, F of X, yes? Uh, this is F, this is X, too many colors. Uh, and I have uh, two terms. Lambda absolute value of x and the, the other centered at u, quadratic term, yes? Yeah. And, uh, and of course, uh, as I did it in the picture, you, you understand that there are two possibilities, that minimum is somewhere in between of those two points. Or it may be a really, if, if I put strong weight on absolute value, it may be really zero. Uh, and uh, to understand this situation, I say, uh, let's remove abs abs absolute value. Uh, if I remove absolute value, I get uh, the answer is uh, zero, x equals zero. The no, if lambda is equal is zero, x equal equals u. If lambda is very large, it will be all solution will be zero. And I, I, I will do now one more graph. I I would write uh, x x hat as a function of U. And I claim interesting thing. If U here is if U is equal lambda, so we we need to write down derivative of this expression, yes? Yeah. Th th this is f f of x, yes. We need to write down derivative f of x. F prime of x is uh, x minus zero plus lambda. This is for x larger than zero. Yes, then we remove absolute value. We remove absolute value and say this is. Uh, and this should be zero. So uh, x hat is uh, u minus lambda. Okay. So 
So, and, and in my picture here, it's, had, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but uh, we will go through it. And here is my x hat. But for large lambda, it, it like uh, wants to become ne negative. If, if lambda is larger than u, it wants to become negative. But you know, in those two functions, it cannot be negative because the slope is in this direction. So it will become zero. Let, let me summarize it in, in, the, in the plot. Here is u. Here is uh, x uh, hat. And here is lambda. It's important. So if u greater than lambda, then it's u mi mi minus lambda. If u is uh, smaller than lambda, the x star is zero. So, so my, my final expression here would be u minus lambda so-called plus the, the, the function which is uh, zero when argument is negative and equal to argument when x is positive. Can you explain the last thing you did in the graph? I, I, I even did it with, with, with red, I think. Let's do it with red, okay. And uh, for, neg for neg neg negative u, one can show it symmetrically. Okay. Um, why, why, is it, why, why is it zero between lambda and minus lambda? Uh, I ask you a question. If, if I have this quadratic function, but my lambda is large, yes? For, is, is, Absolute value multiplied by lambda is this function. Where is solution? Where, where, is, where is minimizer of those two, of some of those two functions? It will be in the action, intersection. Here? No. In intersection, the slope of the sum will not be zero. It will be uh, moving us in the direction of zero. The minimum is where, where the slope of sum is, z, is z zero, but uh, this function is non-differentiable. It's a little bit different, difficult situation. It will try, if without absolute value, if, if it will try to move us to the left of the origin. But actually we know that there, it has no fo force on the left of uh, the, the origin. Uh, it, it will give us zero. This is, the central point that uh, minimum or minimum of this function is exactly zero when lambda is very large. Um, please, please try to explain to us in a different way. Why is it uh, zero? Um, for That's so clear. I, I would invite you even to do in MATLAB plot of this function, sum of absolute value plus uh, this parabola. And you will discover that it's something, so, say, uh, I, 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 I can help you with other extreme situations. Assume that uh, this parabola is very small. I, I multiply this by something very small, yes? My resulting function will be like absolute value. It has minimum in, in the origin. Um, okay, the, the interesting here is that it is exactly zero and not very close to zero. Yes, yes, because this function is non-differentiable. Uh, I, I know by contradiction, I know that it can, this sum cannot have minimum on the left, yes? Because on the left, this term is decreasing and this term is de decreasing. Yes, it has to be zero or positive. And there it can, can, cannot be, if this coefficient, if this slope is strong, it cannot be minimum on the right of, of zero, yes? Because this sum will decrease to, towards zero because this red function will have strong slope, slow, strong decrease to, towards zero. <coughs> I, I, am, uh, I am explaining you in hand waving because 
we didn't uh, learn uh, rig uh, rigorously minimization of non-differentiable function. This is another area of optimization. Now, you make sense, analysis. actually, this makes sense that on the left, it's not, uh, it's not the solution. But the question is, why, sh why should it be exactly zero and not maybe? It depends on the slope of the parabola and it the depends slope on of the lambda, slope. I, obviously. It depends on the slope of the parabola. Uh, pay, pay attention. The, the largest ne negative slope of the parabola in the or is in the, in the origin. And uh, the slope of the parabola in the origin is, uh, the slope of the parabola is x minus u. In the origin is minus u, yes? Y yes. This slope. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. if this slope is, will be larger than, than u, yes? Yes. Then the resulting slope, then it always will decrease towards the origin. And I invite you really to get a little bit intuition for different lambda to plot in MATLAB or whatever you, you, you like, the plot of this sum. And, you, and you, you will see that this is the <coughs> situation. And this is our function. This is very uh, uh, simple function. For positive ar arguments, it's, it's in, it looks in this way, yes? And for negative arguments, some, something complementary. I only showed I only showed it graphically. I even didn't write it analytically, but I hope that you will be able to write it. Okay. And now I want to do one more step forward. If you are, you may do snapshot of this if you want to keep it. Are, yeah. are you able to do snap snapshots? Yes. Okay. You can do uh, it's it's on Windows. You can press the Win key. Shift. If you do it, you 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 can keep it for for yourself, and it it will stay on the. Video. Okay, I I will also send it in the chat. Okay, uh, can I remove this? Yes. Yes. Okay, I, and I I will only keep this the bottom plot. So I know that I have such a problem and it has such solution as a, a function of u and this function is called soft thresholding. Okay. And the, it, uh, it even has name. S, S lambda of u, yes? S yes. lambda of u. This function, uh, or, or maybe I will put it here together with name. S lambda of u. All of this red function. And now I, I have a, a, a question. Assume I have some other expression which has quadratic term and absolute value term. I have uh, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c plus mu abs uh, absolute value x. Assume I want to minimize this form. How can I do it if I have solution for such a function? I just need to transform this quadratic term to this standard form. Uh, so, uh, suppose that u, u is a minimizer of this function. I can equate to zero uh, derivative of this function, get the minimum. And uh, this quadratic function will be uh, uh, actually help me i can write um, x minus you want to only the, the x, x well, what should, uh, should i write here 
uh, square. Yes. What yeah, should yeah, I yeah, yeah. You try to minimize only the a. Uh, I, I, a it should be plus the a. Yes. Plus, plus I I I may say constant. Yeah. It doesn't if quadratic if, if I have this general quadratic function, it may be equivalently written in this way. Yes? Yes. Yeah, and plus mu uh, absolute value of x. Yes, uh, the, yes. It remains. But I have solution for this. I don't have solution yet for this. So I should transform it a little. First of all, constant it doesn't. Is, uh, Factorize it. Uh, mi mi minimizer. Why I, is it I, constant? I can ju uh, just a second. I can have, and you check me, one half x. Uh, if I d divide all my function by something, it, it's not equivalent, but it has the same minimum. Yes? I can divide the function by constant, and it still will have the same minimum. Uh, let me write something. Squared plus I to get one half I uh, divided by a two over a uh, under a you have to multiply the I equation by a and two, the, the two divided by, the by yes. a yes two divided by a mu Something like this? No, no two is in the, 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 the Monet. The two in the, is the Monet. Uh, let's, let me again check, uh, check myself. If I divide the entire function by 2a, it's a minimum, a. minimum, yes? Two, the, two shouldn't be in the denominator. Okay, I can use function. Should be in the, the just a second. Be in the denominator. Uh, Give me one second. I have a function of x, yes? Which has some minimizer. Yes. And I divide it by a constant. Minimizer remains at the same place, yes? Yes, yes, it's okay. By which constant I divide it to get one half? I divide it by 2a. Um, no. Two this a term, a I divide it by 2a, I got one half. But a divided by 2a. A divided by two A. Yes. Is one half. Exactly. So I should divide by two A also this curve. So this this is my function. So and this function has minimizer. If this is a slant of U, this is the have mi, 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 minimizer S. Instead of lambda, I have this expression. Mu divided by two. But the u is isn't the same u. You need to change the u. Yes. To a of u. But u is not the same u. Yes, I compute u. I I I I give you idea. I I give you idea. So now you. You you first compute u yes, you you want to find minimum of this function yes, you go in two stages, you compute u yes, and you apply this function to u. Is it okay? Yes. So, so there are two parameters. There is u and there is the lambda. Yes. Yes. You need to find how it looks like, and then instead you of lambda, you get mu di divided by a. Yes. Why not mu divided by two a again? Thank you very much. Of course, I love to do it with students. If I do it alone, the errors remain on the whiteboard. And with students, it's much more clear. Is there and is there? One more question. Uh, why is it constant? The second. Uh, yes, friend? and constant doesn't influence the minimum. If yeah, why I is add it constant, constant to, to any function? I don't move the minimizer. Yes, I'm interested in minimizer, yes? 
I am so, interested in position of minimizer, so I may remove the constant. It doesn't matter. Where is B X plus C? Uh, it is uh, here in the U. And constant is just C. Okay. Okay. Uh, constant is combination of C and what remains from here. <coughs> okay. Uh, I just want to comment that uh, I plotted the functions in uh, Python, and when u is smaller than lambda, the yes. function is monotonically increasing from zero. Uh, maybe uh, it would be nice. It's wrong, yes? Yeah. Uh, would you like to show? Uh, let. Uh, yes, uh, would you like to show your screen? Definitely. Would be nice. Would be nice. Okay. I'm opening it. I am lazy lecture. I, I am making student my partner, my workers. I don't know. I may get it is, much critics. It is great. It is great that uh, we take an active role in the participation of this course. It really helps us. Okay, it really helps me understand better the okay, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go to, to your English. Okay, I, I, I'm, I was talking because it took me a while to load uh, it. It's loaded and I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Um, I shared, let me know if you can see it. Just a second, just a second. Yeah, we can see your screen. But we don't see absolute value. Did, did you use absolute value? Yes, we have uh, but, uh, a... Uh, it would be nice if you have uh, positive and negative arguments. You are right, yes, definitely. Would uh, be nice. If you do arguments in uh, positive and negative, it will be much more clear. The, the minimum will be seen much more clear. Okay. Um, I modified it and now I'm running it. See? Okay. So the resulting is blue? Blue is for um, lambda, which is greater than u. Lambda 1 is 10 and u is 5, so blue is for lambda greater than u. And, uh, and for other case, you, you should increase your range on x. I want to minimize it in any case to be on, on your plot. Yeah. Let's see if... Yeah. Where you de define the array of points, oh. make uh, x uh, much larger to Let's include the uh, minimizer. Let's see if I take 100. This may be a bit too extreme. Okay. Okay. It's hard to see both of them on the same plot. Here is the blue one with the small... Uh, uh, okay, maybe uh, the variation ah, is uh, lambda 1 and lambda 10. Okay. Maybe playing with, uh, with la uh, lambdas. Lambda 1 and lambda... Lambda 7 and lambda 3, maybe. So I also take this... Uh, no, no. Uh, both of them say seven and three is uh, larger than ah okay um, maybe use five I can do four and six uh, maybe you you will play with uh, play with this and show us afterwards so the, at okay. least uh, the first plot shows something yeah okay uh, one can play with, with it but. Yeah. Uh, but uh, just uh, uh, and your x scale, you you didn't use x scale. Your uh, way where, where you have hundred is uh, zero point. Yes, x is equal zero when you have hundred. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yes. We, we got a general idea. It's a, li a little bit sophisticated. I appreciate it, but mm -hmm. it's uh, like a root tool of uh, sparse uh, image signal already. So uh, in this graph, the hundred is the origin, actually. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 
Thank you. And uh, uh, Ron, you might stop sharing. Okay. So, other questions? Are you do you still have, yes, have energy? I have four. Uh, I didn't understand the question about the joint operator of linear computation graph given a linear operator, operator A expressed via linear computation graph how to multiply a joint A tag. Okay, by a good, tag. good, good. I didn't understand about the and joint who, uh, who is talking? I don't see. Idan. Idan, okay. Uh, okay. Um, I have a related question. And uh, I, uh, just, just a second. Can I remove this? Yeah, uh, yeah of course. Okay. Let, let's do, go one by one by one, because actually there are two questions which uh, uh, relate uh, very closely. One was the multiplication by Jacobian, which you already you consider it on Thursday, and one. Uh, by a joint of linear graph. So if if if, if I have a, function, a linear function which is expressed in some graph, I don't know. And here is x, and here is y, and here is plus, and in the nodes you you have plus, yes. For, for, yeah. for example, and, and here doesn't matter. Cloud multiplication graph. Just a second. So you 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 have some ma mapping from x to y, and this mapping is linear. Yes, it only includes multiplication by weights and summation. Yes. Okay. This operation is linear. Linear operation between two vectors, for example, they are of finite dimension, can be always expressed as uh, uh, y is uh, ax. Okay. And, and I ask a question. If I have uh, some vector z, and I want to multiply to multiply A transpose by some vector Z. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to write the matrix explicitly. I want to somehow to reuse this computational graph. So I can do it, uh, or it, it was not uh, Z, it was uh, yes, it was the yes? No, no, it was Y shave A, uh, a joint, say Z. Okay. It should not be Y, but uh, A transpose Z or A, a, a joint. By, by the way, in, in real matrices, we write A transpose, but in general language of operators, it's like A joint. Okay. okay, so what should we do? You should just place Z here and uh, propagate it in this direction in the, in, the, in the graph. And like it was in the lecture, if I, if I had summation uh, here, in, in other direction, I, I will have different node. I have splitting node. It's like comes here and sends co uh, copies in two directions, yes? Okay. So I, I propagate my vector z through the same graph in opposite direction, and that's all. And how it was shown in the lecture, just by numerical example, I I, I took a graph, I I showed which matrix corresponds to this graph, and then I took back propagation through this graph and showed the matrix is a transpose of the original one. Yes. Yes, so what I need to do there, just say in, if you're asking the question, just put the uh, Z maybe, in the... Maybe you need, uh, I, I understand your, your question. Maybe you need to take some very simple graph, it should not be the same as in the lecture, 
maybe even simpler, and demonstrate to show what matrix corresponds to the forward graph and what matrix corresponds to the back propagation and demonstrate that uh, the other is the transport uh, transpose of the maybe it's better for you if we have like a, a known graph that we'll do it on because if any like any student will do it on his graph you will have hard work to check the exams uh, okay i will stay this i can only allow you if you want to memorize my graph from the lecture is okay if you if you want to build a, a pictogram for you a very primitive simple graph and show it may be even better for you okay so take something and it's even them. better for you if you do something by your own yes you you will mm -hmm. know it better so if i can be really it. simple like one i just made here on the whiteboard very simple my it, i think it's simpler than the one was in the lecture so just so that is the what we need to do is to back propagate it. Yes, yes. Okay. And the, it it relates to ja Jacobian, of course, because uh, with Jacobian, if I hope you saw our reception hours from uh, Thursday, and we so reminded that, that in ja Jacobian to multiply some vector by Jacobian is to prop propagate through graph of derivatives, it's linear graph. But yes. uh, often we need multiplication by transpose Jacobian or joint Jacobian. So we need to take this graph for Jacobian and propagate it in other direction. Mm -hmm. Then you get the picture complete. Okay. 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 We close to um, finish or? Some more thoughts? Okay. I, I, I think so, I think so. Maybe Shovar had a question. I have also another question, but I did want to give uh, uh, other people, you know, opportunity to ask more. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about the sh uh, show the game interpretation of min max. It's take a, the game interpretation of min max, it's, it's, you know, you need to play second and not first. But to show a game that show it, what what do we want there that we will do? Game uh, in uh, this question means that maybe you need just to explain what was explained in the in the lecture in this in this. Because if if we have the same goal, min max theorem says that min max is greater than max min, so it's, it's better. It's, for it's conclusion, but. Interpretation that if uh, there is a game when player uh, omega plays to the plays to the player z or vice versa, I don't remember. Then uh, it may be the, to put in, in in words what was in the in the lecture. To to know if if I will come to you and explain me connection between minimax problem yes and uh, game theory. You should say, see, well, there, there are two two players and they are playing this game, and this which plays uh, first, yes, he needs to find minimax solution of this function to to be optimal. Yes, I, I implemented action and again that played minimax uh, for yes. or just to so. to explain and as conclusion maybe say this sentence which you uh, told right now. <coughs> The, 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 the one who plays only first, uh, he, he is in more difficult situation. He needs to anticipate situation ahead, yes? And one who plays second, he already knows everything and uh, it's easier for him. And he has an advantage in general. It depends on the game. There are games oh, in, in this game. In this game. It's, uh, yeah. In this particular game, the, there are two players. Uh, Z and Omega, and uh, if they do the choice of variables, of values of variables, the payment is given by the function. Okay. Okay. And I want to know about uh, question 
their question at 20, mm -hmm. what are the steps that we are allowed? We, uh, that it's very, very... Okay, okay, uh, can you right please uh, remind me the, the question? Uh, uh, Jacobi on show correspond to uh, no convert me matrix approximation program to semi definite programming. Yes, this, this is a rather loaded question. Very, very the homework uh, in our course before we entered new, new neural networks. Yes, you I just can show you the, the yes. proof is very, very, very long. Uh, it's not very, very long, it's uh, a little bit so you. Oh, maybe you know. Should I should I uh, show I my show slides? The, the I can share the, the solution that I wrote from the slides. You know. Uh, just uh, just a second. In in order to talk, it's easier for me to go with slides. Just a second. Give me one second. Uh, okay, I, I will share my slides now. Just a second, please. I'm sharing. Share screen. I hope that this is the right window. Okay. Actually, you you know, I have one slide on on this. Yes. Yes, but uh, this. Okay, you uh, you need. There is a lot of steps that I want to know if I need to do. What to do? I, I allow you. Th there is a previous slide, yes, to show that yes. uh, to minimize maximal eigenvalue. You need uh, to solve this. You do you see my pointer? Yes. Yes, yes, I see your pointer. Yeah, uh, you need to solve this. Uh, optimization problem. Right. Okay. I allow you, it's good for you to understand this, but to write about the question, I allow you to start with this position. Assume okay. that you already know this. Okay. Just. And then we go to the next slide, yes? Okay. Because you you use it in the middle, so I can say that we want to uh, approximate. Uh, wait a second. We, we, we say that norm of a, norm of a, is lambda maximum of a transpose a, like was mentioned already today. Yes. Yes. And from this, I can say this is from the previous uh, slide. Yes. Because it, it's A transpose A, not A. And yes. then say only B, uh, from Shure Lemma that this mm. should be the semi, the, the, this is the linear problem. Mm -hmm. Because the, 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 the upper problem is semi definite but not linear, yes? And we want the Shure complement yeah. lemma to get linear semi definite problem, yes. Yes, but I ne don't need to prove that uh, the sure lemma. Uh, no, uh, you, you only use this, it, of course, because sure complement lemma is in, in other question. So I need to remember three steps: the uh, interpretation uh, from the previous slide that this is this is the this thing, and say to show it from uh, sure lemma. Yes. And let, let's look on the previous slide once again. Uh, okay. uh, Manian, it's interesting. Your, your marks will be removed if I move through slides? No, no, uh, no. I, I wanted you to keep them. 
What will happen ah, to, to put yeah, any, any mark? Be any, any mark? So, uh, something. Okay. Ah, okay. It will stay. Yeah. Okay, I understand. You, you. Yeah, it's just I, I write on your yeah, yeah. screen. It's... Yes, I understand. Okay. Yeah. So. But you have something you, you, there. You, you should. You should anticipate not not just to remember. Anticipate this formula. Yes. The yes. maximal eigenvalue is related to the requirement of this matrix to be positive definite. It's a yeah, little bit challenging uh, to remember this formula. So you want me, you want me to allow you to include this formula into the equation formulation. Yes? Yes, yes. I, 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 I am. I do. I do. Yeah. Because I if do. you don't do it, do. everything is bad. Yes, I do. I allow you. I allow you. It's difficult to remember everything. You can include this formula into the equation formulation. And I don't know who, who now continues this editing of your collective question lists. And I'm much sure this is what I will get from other, other faculty. They will say that I will promote unemployment in computer science. <laughs> I will you know what I can write you the exam itself if you want. Okay, yeah, so, so you, 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 you now can edit your... Okay. So we should, we sh we should add to the question formulation the end result of uh, the optimization problem. Uh, you can include into question formulation, yes, the, the optimization problem for minimal eigenvalue. Assume that to get minimal eigenvalue, you need this. Yes. Uh, keep it briefly. It's, it's a, a little bit ch challenging to do it short. But I hope you 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 will manage. Okay. Um, actually, it's good to discuss the the editing. I wonder, are there any more mathematical questions? Ah, you 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 want to discuss organizational and understanding. Yeah. Okay. Um, because okay, so so. I think that it takes time to to write. Um, I don't want to use the word properly. Let's say uh, to try to improve the to to write proper. Okay, I'm with you. No, 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 no. It's good to write proper list list of questions. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, yes. It's good. So you you keep it in your collective uh, place. Yes, in uh, somewhere on. I would say, but I, I, I need to, to give it to you for reviewing, for... Okay, uh, okay, yes, yes, of course. Um, okay, okay, so let, let's finish with this very ge general and this technical view, take of life. Uh, but but I, I encourage, the, the only thing, I, I encourage students to participate uh, actively in editing the final list of the questions, because uh, I hope it, it will serve also for future generations of students. It's good job which, which we are doing now. Okay, any, any other mathematical question? Um, okay. I have a question about the ADMN. I want to mention it before, but uh, yes. I'll move to another one. Okay, so uh, in ADMN, there are three steps. Uh, first of all, we need to minimize the uh, a function according uh, to... Let me try to get uh, if I will succeed. Okay. To do it fast. Yes, uh, actually... Yeah, the three slide, steps. Yeah. The you have everything here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, okay. so first of all, then we this. need to find okay. the uh, argmin x of, uh, of the f function, of the augmented yes. Lagrangian function. And then uh, we need to find the z, uh, which minimizes the function. 
But mm -hmm. if you can see, uh, the X here is uh, the optimal X. Uh, you, you substitute the optimal X uh, when you are minimizing the function according to Z. Yes. Uh, my question is, um, if, you, if you see X is um, depend on Z, so when you trying to minimize the function according to Z. Yes, uh, I understand your question and I am already an ans answering. Those uh, two minimizations, they assume other variables fixed. When I minimize in X, I take Z and Y fixed. And I, when I minimize in Z, I don't I, uh, I relate to X as a constant and also okay. to Y. Okay. And that's this why the formula are uh, so simple. Oh, yeah, exactly. I, I, will, I tried to, to find the Z, the, the optimized Z, and yes, yes. it was very, it very simple to get it uh, without, uh, yes. if I, um, okay, take it as a constant. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. And it was, uh, this discussion was also in our Zoom lecture, but not everybody participated at first. Okay. okay. Um, I also have a question about this, this slide. Yes. Uh, we we'll, we we'll look for the optimal uh, constraints y y bar. Um, the optimal multipliers. Lagrange multipliers. Yes. yes. Uh, just second. Just second. It's it's good question. If in x and z you minimize, my multipliers you you don't mean it's not not like optimal multipliers. You update them according to augmented Lagrangian formula. Uh, mm -hmm. New multipliers are just derivatives of our penalty barrier, uh, penalty multiplier function, which in, in case of this uh, uh, special form with equality constraints, it reduces to this form. Oh, I, I, I see. Um, it's, it's good, actually, my, my if question- If you, you want, I can jump back to the place where we derive this, for, up, to, up to you. Um, yes, yes, definitely. Okay, just a second. Okay, so for equality, okay, our ge general formula is, so we, we have this augmented Lagrangian that new multipliers is just derivative of this penalty mul multiplier function at uh, constraint value at previous point. Yeah. And uh, in, case, in the case of equality constraints, our penalty multiplier function is composed of sum of two terms, usual parabola plus linear function. And linear function is what gives sl slope in the, in the origin. And this and is the formula of our penalty multiplier function. Is it P over there? It's P is the parameter? P penalty parameter, yes. And mu is multiplier, the okay. grand multiplier. Yes. Okay, and now uh, when we substitute this very special function to, uh, as, as a function of our constraint, it's, it has two terms. And that's why it splits in two terms here. It's a linear term with respect to H constraints plus quadratic term. But more than this, derivative of this function is also very special. It's mu, mu plus P multiplied by T. I see. And this is exactly what ha happens here. When you take the derivative, you you get old constraint plus P multiplied by H. I, I, from, from this, you yes. get this, yes. Yes, I have a question about P. Is P considered to be also a multiplier? P is penalty parameter. It's not mul a multiplier, it's uh, another parameter which we have usually in augmented Lagrangian just a second. You increase it uh, every, every iteration to make it we, we more, have more P, like... We have P, P, mu here, yes? And yes. parameter P, 
we just uh, increase a little bit un, un, until it achieves some hundred or thousand, some reasonable it, value. It's make it's what the parameter. It's how much the penalty function is like a uh, barrier. How steep is the penalty function? Yes. How how curved is the penalty function? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have a, a question about this. You did it, uh, you exclude it every time because uh, it will be more numerically stable. Why don't you use it in the first time you use a large P or moderate P or something like that? Ah, okay. Because uh, with large P, unconstrained minimization, as we know, becomes more difficult quite often. If, if I uh, but in more... ADMM, it's very special uh, situation because and constraint optimization is uh, analytical there. So the question of how to play with penalty parameter in ADMM, it out of my experience, one need to read more papers to see what they do for choosing good penalty parameter. And for usual augmented Lagrangian, you start with small one and increase until it achieves some reasonable, mo moderately large. Okay. Let's say like that, it just works, so you do it. Yes. And you did it in your in your homework and I think yeah, even yeah. in, in your homework, you, homework if you if you start immediately with very large P, uh, it may take many Newton steps to get. Your problem is small, maybe I, I, you I don't see it so small, well uh, it's a small problem, small. but in large problem it happens. Yes. In the homework, in small p, it uh, started very, uh, did a lot of Newton iteration, but in large p, it's still very few. But in large p, it does very few when you go gradually. If you, ah, yeah. you mean very few external iteration, very few updates of multipliers. You are right. But yeah, how many Newton iterations? The Newton iteration decreased in time. Uh, in the first time, it was thousands, I think, and then hundreds, and then tens of steps. Okay, maybe one more. should play maybe more with your homework code. Uh, but but it happens, yes. But when you progress, the, there is a very in, in, interesting uh, observation in augmented Lagrangian. When you are more and more close to actual uh, optimal mul multipliers, you really you may do everything in one Newton. When you're in advanced iterations, really one Newton iteration may resolve it. And there are even papers and PhD dissertations I know on this topic. Okay, okay. Okay, so more, more or less, or any more question? I have a private question because I have a... Uh, okay, have a private question, let, let put uh, offline uh, after, afterward. Uh, okay, so uh, at least we should yeah. finish uh, stop, stop, stop share. I, I am stopping my sharing, yes? Do, do we need slides? Yes. No, no, it's okay. Okay, stop share. And even...